Today we are lucky enough to sit down with the wonderful, dashing, talented Patrizio Boane. <laughs> Patrizio is a singer, songwriter, producer and baritone who is with us ahead of his 10th anniversary Australian tour. Patrizio, it's great to have you here and I'm sure there are many people looking forward to hearing you fill QPAC's concert hall. We'd like to get to know you with some fun, fast questions, so let's get started. First of all, tea or coffee and how do you take it? Depends what time. In the morning I'll have uh, a green tea. It's like a cleanser, click cleanser, you say? Yeah. But then 11 o'clock, I have a nice espresso, very short, very black, very even Italian. without sugar. Very, very Neapolitan, very Italian. Is it too stereotypical to ask an Italian, what's your favorite pizza topping? No, because pizza is actually my favorite, um, not favorite dish, uh, favorite meal, but it's one of my favorite things that I eat. As a matter of fact, I'm very, very, very tough when it comes to pizza. Uh, my father was a pizza chef. Um, he introduced pizza to Austrians, to Vienna, in 1964. Um, and for us today, it might be funny what's so special about pizza. But when pizza was not really known, and my parents from Naples came to, uh, to Vienna to introduce that new product called pizza, um, it was new. And as a matter of fact, the original Neapolitan pizza is done uh, on wood oven um, with special flour that you use, the double zero flour. So it's very soft. Um, it's a little bit puffy, the, the, the edges, but very thin in the middle. And the San Marzano tomatoes, the buffalo mozzarella. So all these little ingredients that, you know, you can, you can always, you know, um, uh, arrange yourself with, with, with other toppings, but these are the, the hardcore original toppings. I mean, these are the high-end toppings that makes a pizza, a Neapolitan pizza, very special. So, to answer your question, it's good enough if you have um, the really beautiful San Marzano tomatoes and the buffalo mozzarella, maybe a leaf of basilicum. What's your favorite scent? I like garlic. I'm sorry for all the vampires out there. I like garlic. All right, let's talk about music. Uh, what's an oh, album? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, music. What's an album that's influenced you? Maybe not so much an album, but rather uh, performers or in, in interp interpreters, yeah. uh, uh, singers. Um, so probably, uh, well, not probably, but for sure Elvis Presley, Roy Orbison, uh, Freddie Mercury. Um, singers that, not for a song, not for an album, but for their interpretation, for their charisma, mm -hmm. for their talent, um, gave me sort of the, 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 the courage to, in the beginning, wanting to be like them and impersonate them but uh, later wanting to become Patrizio. So that's what influenced me mostly. If you could sing a duet with anyone, who would it be? Living or...? or Doesn't matter. Anyone. Well, I would, would be Elvis. You would be Elvis. You speak a number of languages. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite to sing in? I think it is Italian because it's got a lot of vowels. So you can use amore, cantare. Um, it's just... It gives you the possibility to to open your throat, to open really, you know, and sing. German is very difficult, very closed, you know. For for a singer to be able to, che bella cosa. You see, it's all a a i a. You know, it's open. So Italian and and Spanish. Do mm. you have any pre-performance rituals? While I warm up, I really go into myself like a like a like a athlete. So that's like meditation, really, to get into and to concentrate on your strength. And there's nothing more important than the connection, the connection between uh, the music and the audience. Um, some people might say, well, while the music and the audience, not you and the audience, because I'm an interpreter. I, I have to interpret the song and the music that is, that is played by those amazing musicians. Um, and bring them to the people. I have to believe that those songs that I sing are beautiful, are powerful, move you emotionally, but also move you to tears. I want to make people cry. I mean, not make their lives miserable, but emotional, because um, I'm an entertainer. 
and therefore um, all of that takes concentration and I'm taking my, myself very serious. I mean, oh, you're taking yourself serious. Yes, I do. And maybe that's the secret why I've not been a one-hit wonder or something. That's why I've been around for many years and, and of course I hope that many people want to hear me for many, many more years and that you will enjoy the concert. Uh, and if you don't, don't tell anybody. Australia is quite a long way away from Italy. Yeah, uh, But it you've is. been here a couple of times. Yes. So what are the kind of three words that you use to describe Australia? I'm grateful to Australia. Thanking Australia for all the love and respect and support. That's in the work of line, uh, the line of work, sorry. The line of work, I'm happy. Uh, as a country, I find it very interesting. It's got a lot of potential. It's a young country. You can't compare it with, with Europe. I mean, we've got houses that are older than, you know, very old, although Australia is an old continent, but when it comes to architecture, when it comes to that sort of culture, it's, it's obviously uncomparable. But we should not compare anyway. So, the potential. Um, and the third thing is, it's fun. It's, Australia is just fun. It's fun people, lovely. So, without me going forever. <laughs> Gratefulness, potential, and fun. Sorry for being so serious. What's in your carry-on luggage that you can't leave without? <laughs> Not really much. The keys may be with my home, so when I come home... You door. can get back in. Yeah. <laughs> so, not very dramatic. I try to very much uh, travel life. What's your favourite country to visit, apart from Australia, which we assume is number one? I, I love uh, visiting America. It's very different when you are in San Francisco, or you're in Miami, or you're in New York, or you're in LA. It's very different. It's, there's so much to discover. I relate to, as we said, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra. And so, so here I go to Memphis, Tennessee. I go to Hoboken, where Frank Sinatra was born. And I see where jazz was born, where swing, where, where rock and roll was born. And that's why I like America. So you've been to Elvis's house? Of course I've been. Of course. Um, uh, what's the last movie you saw? I saw four in, in, on the plane. On the plane? <laughs> of course, I mean, so many hours fly. <laughs> Let me just think, I'm, I'm still jet lag, you know that? I saw the American sna Snapper. Sniper? Sna sniper, yeah, American mm -hmm. Sniper. Did you have pets growing up? Yeah, um, always dogs, I have a cat allergy. We have a little uh, Yorkshire Terrier from my mom. I can't even tell you the name, uh, tell you the name. His name is Giorgino, because when you look at Yorkshire Terriers, they have little grey hair and my mom loves George Clooney. So she called him little George Clooney, so Georgino. When you're at home, are you messy or neat? I think I'm, my star sign is I'm Virgo. Neat. So very neat. Two last questions. What was the last concert you went to? Do you go to concerts? I used to go much more than, I, than I'm going now because don't get the chance really because I want to explain that when when there are concerts on I'm working myself so mostly concerts are at the end of the week so I'm standing on stage and I'm touring somewhere so I don't remember which concert was the last one I really don't remember lastly who's a person who inspires you people inspire me I mean people who don't know me think oh here's got here, here, here is this this Italian guy singing beautiful Italian love songs and he's probably very cheesy and this and that. But it's not that I'm going on stage singing just You're breaking my heart cause you leave it. No, I'm taking songs that are timeless and I explain that this song, this story can be also up to date today. So in other words, I can remember when we walk together, okay? doesn't have to be in the 60s, could be now. So I, I want to talk about the beautiful things in life because if you turn on the news, it's terror, it's war, it's sadness, it's all this. So I'm talking about la dolce vita, the sweet life, the beautiful life. Sometimes we have to lie, I have to lie to the people because the world isn't perfect. So maybe my music is a clean cut perfect world. But the people eventually are the ones that inspire me. Um, I want to touch their hearts, I want to touch their souls. And as I said before, I want to make them 
move and I want to move them. So people are my inspirations. I'm singing for people. That's beautiful. Thanks for joining us Thank today, Patrizia. We'll see you at QPAC in June.